You want me to start talking? Hey guys. What's going on guys? We got uh, Justin Grimley's 1964 international pickup here. Doing a frame off build on it. Long story short, everything's getting touched. Top side, bottom side, inside out. It's getting a 810 wheel horse LS7 with a Whipple supercharger. Super Duty one ton axles, getting four links, custom cradle, frame will be shaved down, bodywork painted, really kind of pulling out all the stops on this one. Hoping to be debuting this one at uh, SEMA 23. If you guys want to take a look here real quick, we just started this one uh, last week. We got the parallel four link arms going, axles are under it, we'll be centering that up here shortly. Got a pretty neat one off cradle design going. He wanted to do a triangulated rear, so that's why you see the two points in the front versus the single rear. We'll have a big cross member going from inside cradle to the other side of cradle. That will hold the inner triangulated upper arms that will attach back here at the uh, top point of the axles. Builds like this normally take eight to 10 months. On average, uh, SEMA's coming up, I think in 60 something days. So we got our work cut out for us on top of the SEMA build here, the one over there next to it. So we started out this truck as a flatbed. After hunting, Justin was able to locate the factory bed for this truck. It gives it the real sleek style. It follows these body curves. That's currently out being sandblasted. We also have a company that's working on our design for the audio portion of this side. We're linking up with DS18 to do a full audio sponsorship. We have Leighton over at Wasted Money Fab designing the full bed box, speaker enclosures. That will be inside the truck bed itself. But once it comes back, it'll be getting more as well. We've talked about a tilt bed, so we can actually show off the speaker system inside, inside the bed. And then while that tilts up, it'll showcase you know, the shaved frame, the suspension, the design, kind of the details that are all going into this build. That wasn't me. We got together with Locked Off Road. That's our go-to vendor for all of our coilovers, shocks. They're local to us. The owner actually personally delivers parts to us when we need them. Normally he's next day. Really can't beat his customer service and overall quality of his products. All the builds we have are all going on locked products from that dually over here has locked shocks going on it. This one obviously. We have uh, Dusty with DFD going on locked coilovers and shocks as well. And we also have, as y'all have seen, Mariah's J10 that's locked sponsored as well. So all of our trucks, we try and stick with our go-to brands. Um, Lock being hands down the best one that we've ever dealt with. All right, guys, thanks for listening to me talk. Be sure to tune in to RKB TV on YouTube where you can see more videos and all sorts of nonsense that we've been up to. Uh, mainly this one right here, it'll be all over.